Kobe Hall, you've never heard of him, and good reason. He's a lightweight, but he runs something called Mediite. Most of you never heard of that. What's Mediite? It's a takeoff on Media Matters. What's Media Matters? Okay, Google it. Anyway, so Mediite is owned by and founded by Dan Abrams. And he runs a lot of these things or produces or directs a lot of these shows. You'll see on courtroom camera and things of that sort. Um, but he is a hardcore lefty and Democrat who tries to pretend that he's not. Kobe Hall is more out of the closet. When it comes to ideology, media is in constant attack mode, pretty much like the rest of the media. I'm not even sure why it exists. But regardless, uh, here's Dan Abrams and Kobe Hall. What are they arguing about? Fox. Fox chose not to cover the January 6th Stalinist Politburo event live. Go. What is it about being a, quote, news network that makes it required that you must, you must, of course, take this as a live event, because if you don't, then you're not a news network. I mean, seriously, what is it about this? Why with so many... So let's stop right there. Credit where credit's due. I don't know how this goes on, but credit where credit's due. All the terrible things I've said about Dan Abrams remain. Nonetheless, that's a good point. Go ahead. Can't Fox News make a decision that they're going to put on some of their other programming? You want to watch this live? You can. I mean, you're almost saying it's like you know a national obligation on their part, right? It's almost their civic duty. Well, I, I mean, I, I believe that to be true because I, honestly, I think that there is a and journalist. Who are you, dummy? He believes it to be true, so it must be true. Every other network's carrying this thing. They're going to get their propaganda out. They're going to hear their demagogues. They're going to be able to recycle this over and over again with commentary and so forth. They'll bring in that bloated buffoon Bernstein and that, uh, that slow-thinking Bob Woodward. And they'll bring in the other losers who all say exactly what you know they're going to say. Uh, just pile on and trash over cherry-picked emails and texts without anybody available to talk about any of this from a different perspective. So Fox says, we're not covering it live. But Colby Hall believes it to be true. And anybody who speaks fast must be smart. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. Go ahead, Colby. If they're going to call themselves a news network, and they believe me, they have a lot of great reporters. They do a lot of good news during the day. Prime time is entertainment packaged as news. It's not real news. And, you know, an accepted responsibility for any news network is to provide that coverage. Why they should do it? They don't have to. But what they're doing is they're, they're counter-programming, knowing that they're going to get great ratings and drive ad revenue. And they're putting their, bid, their bottom line. And, their, uh, excuse me. Why is it that Fox's motives are always nefarious, but when it comes to these other outlets, it's always righteous? Again, the ruling class, their phony elitist mindset, and the demand for conformity. Go. Business benefit over what I believe to be the greater good, because Fox <sighs> News viewers... He believes in the greater good, and he knows what it is, and that's enough. No wonder this site mediaite hates my guts, no wonder I can't stand them. Go. All people need to learn about what happened on January 6th. The people attacked the Capitol. And that's a, that's a story that's largely... And where's the story on people attacking the federal courthouse in Portland for two months? Where is that? Where's the story on people attacking the White House? So the president had to be taken to the nuclear bunker at the bottom of the basement there. Where's that story? Where are any of those stories? I haven't seen one. Have you? Go been ignored on Fox News primetime, here's a golden opportunity for those viewers who've been kind of had their head under the ground to see firsthand exactly what happened. But don't, I mean, it, it does sound, if you're a Fox News viewer, you're going to listen to you and be like, that condescending guy <laughs> on, uh, telling me what I need to know, right? Colby Hall telling me what I ought to know, what I don't know, what, what ought to be ensured that I... And Colby Hall is just a, a dumb front man for the whole operation. We know what happened on January 6th. We know some jerks went in there and did violent things, and we know so many people who did not, who've also been punished. 
And we have a lot of questions to raise about what took place that day, but we're not allowed to ask them because nobody there will be in a position to ask a single question about the security of that building, about Nancy Pelosi's notes, texts, and emails, because none of them had been preserved or presented, or any of her testimony to the committee, because she didn't give any testimony to the committee. Why didn't she protect the building? What did she do on January 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th? What about the offer for National Guardsmen from the executive branch, President Trump? Why did she turn it down? Why did she call federal law enforcement the various names that she used, like stormtroopers and so forth? There's a lot of questions to ask Nancy Pelosi, but none of them will be asked because nobody's there to ask them. So when this guy says, um, you know, people need to know what took place that day, they're not going to have all the facts. And that's not the point of this committee, to get them all the facts. The point of this committee is, as many Democrats have said on the record, is to beat the Republicans. Go. Have a right to see. I mean, you know, again, you're still not completely convincing me. I get, look, if I were making the decision, um, I would say, yeah, why not air it? It's, really, it's an important event. But I'm just not offended the way that you are and so many in the I, I, liberal I, media bubble are. I got to say, good for Dan Abrams. Good for Dan Abrams. I don't think it's a show. I hope not. It's up for show. Go ahead. Just up in arms about this. Whoa, right? oh, Fox, this just shows they're not news. Well, I'm sorry I offended you, but, <laughs> but I will say honestly that I think we are in such a balkanized, divided state. It's exactly what Matthew McConaughey said at the White House press briefing. We're so divided when it comes to media consumption. We're so divided. And what did he propose, old Matthew? Down the line gun control. And what did he propose three years ago? Confiscating AR-15s. I just, I just can't buy into Hollywood types and so forth who show up on the scene and then I have to quote them. Like Matthew McConaughey said, I don't really care uh, from a policy perspective. Go ahead. This is an opportunity for an outlet to cover something that is happening in real time. And those viewers, and I have a lot of dear friends who are obsessive Fox News viewers. I watch Fox News all the time. These are people that need to know what exactly what went down, because a lot of these people have chosen. We're not going to know exactly what went down. Whew. We're in for a tough couple of weeks, folks. Go ahead. And I think it, there's an obligation for the outlet to share with their viewers a true story. If they watch the impeachment proceedings, are they allowed, do they get an out? <laughs> they get one chance. Are, are, they, are, they, there's two are they allowed to say, well, look, I did watch the impeachment proceeding. I saw a lot of what happened. So, so am I allowed to, does Colby give me an look, out I now? think it's serious. I think an attack on the Capitol is a serious thing. I do too. Look, I, I'm, I'm only talking about it from the media perspective. I think it's very important. I've said it again and again. I think that the people who All are- right, It's not about an attack on the Capitol. It's about an attack on Trump. Okay, everybody, do we understand? That's what it is. What they're going to take is text messages from this guy or that guy, things that Trump may have said and so forth, and try and cobble together a, a, a case that Donald Trump was behind this. This is what Liz Cheney's already said, that he led the charge and that this grand jury that the attorney generals put together needs to in, indict Donald Trump. That's what it's about. It's not about the attack on the Capitol. If it was about the attack on the Capitol, we'd need to know more about Nancy Pelosi. And if they had a real legislative purpose related to the attack on the Capitol, we definitely need to know where Nancy Pelosi and the others screwed up. Okay? What information did they have from the FBI, the Norfolk office? What information did they have from the NYPD? I read the NYPD gave them a heads up. The Norfolk office gave them a heads up. There was some kind of memo sent to Chris Ray, the director of the FBI, and he didn't see it till a couple of days later. Are we going to get to hear about that? Yes or no? Are we going to get to know if there's any FBI informants among the people? Would we? And by the way, that's not a conspiracy theory. I'm an old uh, Justice Department guy, chief of staff to the attorney general. There are plants in these events all the time. Were there? And why is it that the attorney general, when he was questioned under oath, wouldn't say? Why was it that on a different part of the Capitol building, that these quote-unquote paraders and trespassers were waved into the uh, Capitol building? There's a piece on Just the News by John Solomon. Breaking news. I encourage you to get it. It's a very, very important article. Scores of things that the Capitol Police failed to do because of the political appointees at the top. 
who all report to Nancy Pelosi. She is, as Solomon has said, the mayor, in effect, of Capitol Hill. And she failed. And there's not one syllable of testimony about this, and certainly not from her, because this is a phony operation, and the media are a joke. Want to see more Mark Levin? Go to levintv.com and subscribe now.